So, um, so um, the title of our presentation is Should We Aim to Create a Perfect Healthy Utopia? A discussion of ethical issues surrounding the world of Project Ecos Harmony. Introduction. A great work of science fiction can present us with the image of um, possible futures as well as bring right serious issues, allowing us to learn valuable lessons by depicting human relations, new character tendencies, new relationship between human beings, science and technology. Here we pick up a, a masterpiece science fiction novel, Harmony, written by Japanese writer Project Ito, uh, 2008, and consider the various ethical issues involving the world depicted in the novel, as well as its ending. Harmony, um, one, this is a kind of um, a famous novel in Japan, and I got several work, and then this novel was uh, translated into English, about 10 years ago, and uh, also won the one of the American special awards. And the project Ito wrote Harmony uh, during hospitalized for his uh, lung cancer, and uh, he passed away at the age of 34 in March 2009. Actually, um, this is the original Japanese novels. And this is a translation in English. <coughs> but I think that um, present society aim for a future in which healthy longevity is achieved through advanced medicine and science, as well as technologies, uh, including AI and ICT. In our view, we are aiming closer to the world depicted Harmony, um, the after Harmony's world, I would say, with the rapid development of AI, ICT, and other relevant, relevant medical technologies in recent years, it is now much easier to imagine that the healthcare system and the way of living depicted uh, Harmony's world could be realized in near future. In addition, Health consciousness among people is being universal, and this has to raise strong anxiety about health as well as um, fear of aging and death. In this context, we believe that uh, we can gain some insight into um, important reasons about ethical, social, psychological issues that could arise in healthy longevity utopia achieved by super medicine by analyzing harmony's world. In this section uh, for all, uh, we will introduce uh, a story and uh, the society in the novel and then analyze various issues arising in the harmony world. Finally, um, to conclude, we pro propose appropriate attitude toward health and health care and argue that a perfect healthy utopia should not be a goal. Um, the page number in parenthesis in quoted text indicates, actually it is in blue, um, the corresponding pages number from the English version of Ham. How many work by uh, Project Ito? Um, Tuan, 28-year-old woman, is a main character. And this work is told in her first person. It is the year 2073, and Tuan is a WHO uh, monitoring officer who protects people's right to life. Her job is ensure that um, society guarantees health, healthy and humane lives for its members and to intervene if necessary. So <laughs> she was ordered to temporarily return to Japan where her boss after a certain incident. Shortly afterwards, more than 600 people around the world attempt suicide. 
simultaneously. And um, about 3,000 people, including one of a uh, friend, successful, <laughs> even died uh, in the attempt. Um, and they fight criminals deployed to all sins in the world. Within the next week, I want you each to kill at least one another person. Those who are unable to or are unwilling to perform this small task will die. The main story of this concerns her investigation into the cause of multiple simultaneous suicide and uh, identification of the person, uh, who person uh, the person who issued the one man, one kill order. How many world is uh, governed by ideology referred to lifeism? This is uh, Ito's coinage. Lifeism is explained as being a politically enacted policy or tendency to view the presentation of health as the community's highest responsibility. <coughs> How many world consists of communities um, for your people? Uh, there is a consensus of a particular medical system, and those medical concrets are referred to as a domain inspiration. This is also the um, ethos coinage. Uh, this uh, communities and uh, medical concrets has successfully realized super medicine that use advanced technologies, including AI, ICT, and other technologies. <laughs> Uh, based on the welfare society. Uh, this means that including uh, at adulthood of constant internal monetary network through a device called WatchMe, and the establishment of high volume medical consumer system with very cheap medicine and uh, medical activities and uh, provision of proper nutrition and lifestyle advice by specialists. Those activities are seen as basic minimum conditions for human dignity. So their main intervention in this novel, what we, is a monitoring system um, inserted in the body. And there is a machine in the every household named Medicare. So this can make a synthesized substance for the medicals, who are many more, uh, needed to eliminate pathogenic substance in the blood and um, in a matter of milliseconds to the area where the abnormality occurs at the pinpoint and eliminate substance harmful to the body. So medicals are just fine. As a result, you know, those medical technologies eliminate most disease of the face of the planet. Uh, Medicare performs autonomous, autonomic and instant medical intervention. Uh, medical treatment are nearly perfect and the student health management is almost completely realized. That kind of world. Interestingly, um, healthcare professionals do not appear in the novel at all. A healthy longevity world has been established where no one is ill, the elderly are extremely active and healthy, and no one died expecting, except in accident or due to senilities. In addition, each person's life is designed by together with a consultant. So it is extreme health conscious society. Now, most part of the world are free from chaos, savage, and slaughter, and the utopian world of peace, health, healthy, longevity, and love has been realized. <coughs> so how many world adapt um, the kind of boss, uh, oligarchy, oligarchy policy system? and 80% of humans are basically under the watchful eye of a selected small number of people. Um, this group is named Next Generation Human Behavior Monitoring Groups. Those groups have no intention of exploiting members of medical comprises and uh, <coughs> healthy longevity society purely based on good intentions. 
social consequence of the heresy, longevity, supremacy principle in the family world. Um, this world um, devoted itself to realizing health supremacy principle and healthism, and this led to various problematic issues um, which we are discussed in the detail below. And so you can um, look at the list on the table. First, extreme health-oriented health conscious society has given rise to health worship. In this world, healthy longevity is considered more important than anything else. Health has super values and uh, dictated the way people live and how they think. Thus, being healthy becomes a moral obligation of all community members. It is a world where being healthy and being ethical are synonymous. And um, to a friend, uh, who hated how many words play an important role. She said, so her name is Miyaha. And the, the value we call health is trampling us over everything else. It means that the flood is coming. We are about to <coughs> drown in the you know, health super value world. And to describe this world as follows, so please, those kind of things uh, you could not find any of these in Japan. Um, a nation obsessed with health or anywhere else under uh, administration rules for that matter. All of those vices which, which should have gone more or less ignored in the past had been paved in a list of sin by all powerful hand of medicine and one by one they had been purged from a society. She also mentioned that the invention of molecules <coughs> had put the human body and moral present side by side on the same table. A program took care of the signals sent from the body and transmitted morals in the town. The moral code over 80% of the people in the world had taken for their war. This community uh, does the, their best to help members eliminate health risks. For example, um, life pattern designer instill people the notion that they should do, as the medical doctors say, that is to say, a type of health counseling. Life pattern designers determine a lifestyle pattern to optimize both their client health and their social assessment score by looking at information by surprise watching. Second, second issue is in this world, students are required to give as resources to the society. Um, the one explained this as follows. Resource awareness. That was how people define their obligation to society. That and the concept of communal body. Always be aware that you are an irrespectable resource. Third, but the problem is that given the sin of public existence in the world, individual privacy no longer exists. A member of clinical conclaves are required not only to keep themselves healthy at all costs, but also to continually probe prove their own health to other members of the communities. Finally, by fully pursuing health and longevity as well as medically optimized bodies, uh, physical diversity is lost in society and the dilution of standardized human body has been become reality. The myth of a normalized human body was elevated to a high public standard. So there are many um, quotes. <coughs> so, so everyone was saying, everyone. I realize how bizarre sight that medically standardized Japanese people. And then deviation from standard, uh, physical reality standard, when everyone was listening to, attentively to their health 
consultant advice and following their perfect, perfect design lifestyle from to the letter. The range of acceptable body types grew narrower every year. Now I would like to um, mention a little bit about basically suspicious measures um, used to achieve a world of healthy longevity in this novel. First, a uh, means by which Harmony's world achieves a perfect healthy utopia. Um, so this is a summary of the previous section, so there are many extra issues. Then, um, the first means by how many world achieve a perfect healthy utopia is the routinization and automation of healthcare delivery. Combination of Watch Me, Medicare, and remote <coughs> Medicare have established the provision of instant matter of millisecond diagnosis and therapy, as well as prevention. Naturally, there exists no room for self-determination, and the concept of treatment refusal or informed refusal has disappeared completely. Every medical intervention has become a matter of course. All medical care procedures are quick and completely routinized. Second means um, is through cryptic and clever technique and covert intervention, including educating individuals to voluntarily internalize social norms, incentive tied to social assessment scores, domination by the atmosphere of society and kind of watching, mimamori in Japanese, uh, supported, supported by affirmative paternalism. In this world, there is no unilateral and forced order to become healthy, <coughs> no reinforcement exists. Rather, people are skill, skillfully driven toward the direction of health promotion. Not only educating people about social norms, but social assessment would also be <coughs> sorry, an incentive to become healthy in this world. There is also psychological control by the air, kuki, <coughs> or atmosphere, rather than written law or rules. Atmosphere of this world <coughs> decides almost everything. Invisible rules that reflect common sense and the air are conceptually very Jap Japanese, maybe. <laughs> and just a moment, I need a word. <laughs> <coughs> I talked too much in the past, but um, two or three days uh, when I see a mic patient or two days, sorry. In addition, too, too much drink, maybe. And, um, <laughs> third means, <coughs> perfect treatment is, is through the inappropriate response to the issues. This issue is interesting. Uh, in this world, there are many suicide attempts and the cost of uh, acts of health harm, particularly among children and young people. It is claimed that statistically eyes in suicide is troubling and uh, the pharmaceuticals and Nobel therapeutic treatment as well as legal support for such treatment would likely eventually bring those under, under control. However, the cause of suicide among youngsters resides exactly in the very system of medical concrete, it means uh, communities in the uh, community world. Many cannot bear to fit into the more society stand for them, and according to Tuan, the break point of over considerate society nearing. Uh, she thought that something has to do with, has to wrong with this picture, and even in her brainwashed societies, people had begun to realize it. A boy who committed suicide said he hated this world and didn't bring to the world. Nevertheless, a leader of the, this group carries the Harmony Project um, without, so I will explain this later, uh, without resolving the true cause. At one further explain the Harmony Project as follows. 
in con in controlling the feedback web in the midbrain with metacules, we found we were able to influence many decision, human decisions, emotions, um, thoughts. The control of human web was a hot topic with top leaders of this community. In those days, we picked up uh, a lot of kids like um, one of a uh, friend of Tuan and put them into the treatment. It means um, how many projects. We gather the ones who want to kill themselves, especially the one who overate or refused to eat, the one who wanted to watch themselves grow weak and die. Our goal was to create harmonized well inside the human brain. We call it harmony program. There were plenty of kids back then who had attempted suicide more than once, just as there are plenty of them now. And because their system of value is fashioned to be in perfect harmony with the society, there are far fewer suicides and the kind of stress we found in our society disappear completely. So, uh, without resolving or uh, considering the true cause of suicide among youngsters, um, the people just try to, you know, change their brains. <coughs> Conclusions. Should we aim to create a perfect, healthy utopia? Uh, this was aimed to establish perfect, healthy utopia and nearly completely realized this goal. We believe the creation of the world depicted harmony to be great work <coughs> when considered thoroughly from a standpoint of medical science and healthcare. So, you know, perfect uh, medical care has materialized. But we argue that the existence of harmony world cannot be accepted as is. We oppose the basic idea of creating a super healthy society at the expense of all other worldly things, in particular our freedom, diversity, and privacy. We need to remain free and diverse existence with the ability to make decisions about one's own life without interference. We do not want to be monitored um, by watching the society, even if the main intention are good and ultimately would make us healthier. And in addition, I, we, we don't think we need to be perfect. There is no end to pursuit of perfection concerning health and uh, longevity in our life because there is no such thing as a objectively long enough lifespan and the occurrence of disease and disorder is best to keep as close to zero as possible, so there are limitless. So our desire will be limitless. <coughs> uh, social <coughs> solidarity, um, kizuna, is important and good, but we argue it is not something we should aim for from the beginning. On the contrary, it is something we achieve naturally and uh, unintentionally as a result of our, our activities and uh, relations with others. And I have to say that uh, medicine and ethics are different. And health and good are not identical, naturally. Uh, there is no self-evident truth in our lives. Although being healthy is obvious, obviously good, health should not be regarded as the only good in our lives. The monistic claim that health has a sorrow highest value is unacceptable to us a uh, pluralist. Uh, what is needed is a work where people are adequately healthy while avoiding harmful health gossip and healthism. How can we achieve this? In our view, the answer is provided earlier on in the, the very novel, Harmony. The answer is do everything in moderation. A warrior of so what I got, one of the characters in the tribe that does not belong to any medical communities suggests this. He refers to Tuan and her colleagues as, so they call um, people, medic, medicine people. So um, 
80% of the people on the earth uh, in this novel regarded medicine people. Below is a conversation between the warrior and Swan. Swan, do you think we bow too deeply to our God then? Warriors, in a word, yes, all sin in moderation, you say. So this is the solution, but uh, you do not practice it. You are so filled with your faith that you must push it upon us as well. We moderate uh, in the minorities. Commentator who discussed the um, track series to Nobel argue that the danger, danger of forgetting that in our world complete control is impossible and that it is even more dangerous to forget why we should be happy that this is so. He added that our world is pluralistic and the people have vastly different views on what a good life entails and that this would probably be impossible. In conclusion, we argue that we can be a reasonably healthy and long life in a peaceful world so long as everything is done in moderation. We pay some attention to our health and uh, we are considerate to others in accordance with the uh, no harm principles. However, our self-awareness and the consciousness could lead to an um, unhealthy life and uh, premature death, which otherwise could be preventable. We would rather accept this consequence than lose our free will and self aware consciousness. That is. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Atsushi. Uh, well, do we want to have such a utopia? <laughs> is that what the government is working towards? Many questions. Uh, and it, we talked, you also, problematic issue, you talked about obligation, uh, civil <laughs> obligation to maintain your small health. Because if you look at the table that you provided, which is very useful, uh, your problematic issues in harmony as well. Okay, strong health worship, we have that today. Excessive faith in medical science and healthcare, we have that today. Moralization of medical and health issues, some people moralize in their own way. Identification of being healthy and being good, yeah. Civil obligation to maintain someone's health. Individuals regarded as social resources, in some countries they are. Objectification of agents, yes. Loss of privacy and physical diversity. Lifestyle designed by others, written in this automatic and instantaneous provision of healthcare. That's a dream. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, so, all, I mean, most of these issues aren't they really what we're trying, what we have today mm -hmm. as an ideal? But there are, why is it a problem? Yes, so I, I, I don't think, um, well, I, I don't think this is an uh, ideal situation. And then the reason why I picked up this novel is that this, uh, the world depicted in, in this novel is just like our current yeah. society. Probably um, Okita sensei can add something. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, he is um, very knowledgeable. Uh, so she knows very much. Very, he knows very much about health promotions, and uh, he is uh, critical about what our government are doing to try to make us healthy. It is a very good thing, but I, I think it's a little bit extreme <coughs> these days. Now in Japan, we have uh, uh, legal duties <coughs> to, to be healthy, and. Uh, uh, you know, staff of Tokyo University have to um, uh, take a uh, health examination every year. And, um, you know, meeting of professor, I report that, you know, 99% of faculties um, had a um, health check this year, but 1% of persons uh, failed to do that, so this is a problem. 
and so it happened. So, and uh, I think health is very good, but as I but just mentioned, we would lose many other things. So, for this, just for the, um, from what I follow, like the climate of this novel, is this the, I mean, like the time of the suicide things? Is it the climax of this novel? Uh, suicide. Suicide. Uh, so maybe I, I sh should have um, I don't know more about this. Uh, so in this novel, um, <coughs> young people and children uh, would try to suicide because they hate, you know, some paternalistic uh, intervention or they hate very kind monitoring by others. They they feel very um, so, so they, they feel they cannot live freely because uh, they always um, under the you know monitoring of uh, other people, government, and uh, they also have a device in their bodies, and uh, they all so and that watch me uh, can send any kind of information to the government or other you know, uh, medical communities, then they got the feedback. Oh, one more thing. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you want to create this utopia, then I think we miss one thing here. We create a healthy life, but we forgot the mental health life. I mean, a mental yeah, health? Yeah, because they, they tend, tend to suicide. It means that their mental is not healthy. Ah, yes. Yeah. So that's a very um, good question and important point. And uh, in this world, um, you know, people of power <laughs> think that you know some. So they don't think there is something bad in the society, but the problem um, is exist, existing in the young boys or girls, you know, mind. So they have to change their brain. Yeah. Yes. So there is a very big mental health problem in this society. I wonder about the name of the article. <coughs> you mean project? Is his first name? Project Ito. Uh -huh. uh, so his, his uh, family name is Ito, uh -huh. and uh, his first name is Keikaku. Uh -huh. And why is project in English? A uh, keikaku is uh, can be translated into uh, you know English, and keikaku means project. Mm -hmm. okay. So it I don't think this is a very big meaning. Okay. Now in your abstract here, I think it has an answer why the boy has no meaning in life. That mm -hmm. they have no uh, meaning of life. Yeah, no meaning in life. That because when you say that no self determination. No, nothing. No one's decide. Mm -hmm. You have nothing in order to live. I mean, no will to live. Because I, you're more like a robot. Yes, I agree to with, with that. So, so what is it? That means for... So, uh, so in this novel, there is no mention about the meaning of life. You know, people just, just, to, you know, just live happily. Uh, under the introduction, instruction of the community leaders, and um, uh, so <coughs> I don't know about the uh, meaning of life of the people in the very novels. Mm -hmm. But maybe some people uh, f feel very, you know, they lost. So they think that they are important resources to the society, so uh, I'm not sure about the uh, you know, personal meaning of life for them. Has mm. this novel ever made up in a movie? Or? So we, we have a movies, ah. and, and uh, probably I have a 
Bururi somewhere in this room, but unfortunately, unfortunately there is no English version, okay. uh, just a Japanese. Yeah. Yes. One question, why should there be statistical rise in suicide mm. of uh, youngsters mm -hmm. when they are being educated? How is it that they become uh, people who would like to get suicide? Why uh -huh. should it be? Then uh, so when, the, the, when is it possible for you to bring about perfect, healthy utopia in Japan? So as far as I can understand um, by um, reading this book uh, several times, I understand seem to feel very frustrated by the control of the you know communities. Uh, so they they are like. Uh, is deprived of their freedom, mm -hmm. and they cannot, you know, drink alcohol. <laughs> they cannot drink coffee. Yeah, so they cannot uh, use, of course, the companies. What is it? Sake no timer. Canvas. No, no canvas no in, in this world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. This is the fiction, so I cannot understand 100% of the uh, psychology of the people, but they feel frustrated or oppressed, even if they can be very healthy. Mm. Yeah? Yes, more comments over here? Uh, Jaya first and Nadalio. So, uh, my heartiest appreciation uh, for this uh, paper, Professor, because I'm a person of literature and psychology. Mm -hmm. So this novel is one of my favorite because it talks completely on psychology and the mind of people inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question is, in this complete novel, your body is not your womb. This is what the author says. right? And some a kind of uh, uh, something is implanted in the body of each person mm -hmm. and they are being monitored completely. So this affects their psychology, mm -hmm. but uh, the author also says, uh, you know, there are certain people who are really good, 100% perfect, and you have certain imperfect persons also, but these people, they help them to become perfect. Mm -hmm. This is what the author says. It's not that these people are completely denied of certain things. It's not like that. But, but the people, the perfect people, they help the imperfect people to attain perfection also. Right? Mm -hmm. But, okay, my question is, uh, since uh, this is written by a Japanese writer, do you think this will happen in future? There is, a, is there a possibility for this kind of implantation? And will, will that be a healthy practice? Uh, here in Japan? No, no. maybe. No. Maybe in, in other... Yes. Um, even if we um, do not implant uh, the, the device uh, directly to the body, now we have a same kind of upper watch or something. Yes. Yeah, we, we are our monitors, so <coughs> I, I think <coughs> this is uh, quite possible in the future, you know, uh, if we have a very good technology, we, we can put something okay. in our bodies. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so you mean to say it's a healthy practice, we can have that? Uh, yes, uh, we, we can have that, but I, I don't like to have it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Daniel, yes, thank you. I'll start with comment on our previous question about uh, children, I mean, youngsters who commit suicide despite... Yeah. yeah. Children who commit suicide despite education and there is no contradiction in that because education itself is a problem, it is an oppressive system. So of course if you subject people, young people to education following some years, some of them will commit suicide. Uh, that was my uh, experience, for example, of being terribly unhappy. As a, stu as a young student, I haven't been uh, stu studying as a child at the age of nine. Well, I found out years later that it was because I couldn't stand sitting on chairs for many years, for many hours a day. Uh, now, regarding utopias, there are two kinds of utopias. The one which you described, which faces the future, and 
wishes to enable the utopia through science, technology, and proper organization of society. This top down dimensions and questions you have uh, demonstrated, and I thought your argument was perfectly fit my previous lecture and our previous talk about the role of medical ethics within the latter framework of health and medicine. So thank you very much. The other kind of utopia is usually look backwards and that's a back to nature. Had we healthy, clean air, water, food and relationship to to nature, would have, we would have lived happily and for many years. Now my question, could these visions combi be combined? Because I understand what is an ecological utopia. Now I'm trying, to, this is actually following Raphael's question before to me. Could we imagine medicine which becomes in a gradual process enlightened, ecologically enlightened, in order to integrate these two points of view together? I think that was bioethics according to Vargas <coughs> Sierra Porto. Creating one science which is both holistic and ecological mm -hmm. and preserving the assets of medical science, of present conventional science. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I think it is great if we can you know, achieve uh, both at the same time. But I, I'm not sure at this point. You know, now in Japanese societies, uh, uh, you know, too much scientific and uh, monolithic. Yeah. So that's why I, I believe that we need uh, bioethics or uh, medical ethics into the medical field. So there, so far there is a contradiction in concepts. I, I'm afraid so, yeah. yeah. Now the question was raised earlier, you know, do you think this kind of thing could happen in the future? But I think as a work of literature, it's just taking trends that we see in society now. We can see all these trends in society, like Daryl pointed out, most of the things are on the mm -hmm. list. Yeah, yeah, we've got that right yeah. now. It's not something it's going to come in the future. So we take something that's, in, that's happening right now, then we kind of project into the future and see what might be the consequences. We take that really seriously. So I take that more or less to be the, the novel's structure. And then also the point that you made about already we have like a smart watch that can take our blood, I don't know, take our, I don't know what it does, blood pressure and <laughs> blood sugar and whatever it can do. And then, you know, when I was reading an article about this, it said, you know, the watch is going to tell you what to do. You know, you have been exercising enough, the watch tells you to exercise more. And then, you know, we become the, um, the slaves of technology. Yeah. Technology tells us what to do. And a lot of people say technology is neutral and it depends on how we use it. But I don't really believe that. That's one reason why I don't have a, a smartphone. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're right. I don't yeah. really believe. That. I think you know when we get you know caught up in technology, the technology controls us. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to check our email all the time. Yeah. We have to do this, and you know, we, we become controlled by the technology. So, yeah. and I, I I understand the impulse. I would never commit suicide, but certainly I understand the, the impulse that's, that rejects that and says, mm -hmm. no, you know, I want to. I want to break the rules. <laughs> I don't want to be controlled by others or be controlled by technology. Mm -hmm. So certainly, I, and I think the author, I'm guessing, the author has that same spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that the author kind of is mm -hmm. anti-technology. <laughs> mm -hmm. Daniel? I thank you for your words because actually they reflect on our previous discussion about the cards. Because actually we live in a transhumanist era in which machines became instruments of, of relating to the world. So we no longer walk, we take a car, then we sit in a set, at a certain position. This is the way we experience ourselves for many those who drive. Like in the case of yourself. For many hours a day. Now with the cell phone, 
we focus on small screen, we, we get small movements, we don't open up ourselves. On the information side, the data, heartbeat, etc., this is biohacking. I mean, we can use it to learn something about ourselves through technology. For example, when I feel really, really good, it is when my heartbeat gets down to something, or vice versa. But this is information could be used also, uh, also to enhance ourselves to become more healthy. Uh, actually, to free ourselves from misery through technology, like we would have a spiritual path. However, when the in your example, when the watch told you go exercise, which kind of exercise? Why don't you feel it for yourself? So this is when we uh, get dominated by machines in senses which already exist. For example, I went with my family abroad and we rented a car. I was forced to drive. I usually never drive. But I refused to talk to the machine to take a tip. Uh, parking ticket. <laughs> because I don't want to talk to the machine. I have to stand. I have to do like this. I said, I told my daughter, if you want me to drive, you talk with the machine. And we think of it as somewhere well, that's what we do. We want to park, we go to... No, this is, this is making us proxy of the machine. We start to act as the machines uh, and forces us. Otherwise, we cannot park. We don't, cannot get out of the parking ticket. That's the world you were describing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, any other comments? Uh, yes. yes? Uh, for the research piece, for uh, discussing among the scholars, that would be uh, very uh, resourceful. And uh, for the uh, in the community, uh, would, you, would, you, uh, what would you think about uh, teaching for the children, uh, teaching for uh, general, uh, adult, or even including aging people? Uh, to bring out this uh, utopia philosophy by uh, not only writing but also pictorial uh, expression and also another uh, uh, express to communicate. Uh, because the research paper is, uh, yes, this is our duty to write down what is important, but uh, in order to uh, translate our idea into the community that may be necessary to prepare some uh, materials or a way to communicate with them. Now, do you have any idea to do for this idea? So you, you, you are questioning me. How are we able to get this idea into that the people who are really living in the community? So this idea means what, what this is harmony, it's a utopia, a healthy utopia. Uh -huh. and this is a, a, a what you are doing, uh, what you are doing. But in order to be understood by the people who are living in the community, uh, maybe like, uh, it, it, it is not only for adults, but also maybe include the children as well, for the difficulty in the school uh, system. Uh, any other related uh, health issues? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so, when you mention community, do you mean community in this number or what? Community in, in this real world? Yes, real world. Real world, so... Application. Uh, application. Mm. Well, until now, I've never thought about, you know, sorry, I, I, how to educate uh, people about those kind of... So, you, you, you mentioned that we educate people about the, you know, dark side of those utopias? Yes. Simplicity. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but all we can do is doing medical excursions. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. But at least I am raising this issue that when I was in uh, uh, U.S. Texas Health Science Center and uh, they have been doing the training mm -hmm. for the teachers who are teaching the K-12 into the medical school so the teacher may understand what they are doing for health, health promotion for not only for teacher base but also children base by uh, very easy understood uh, they have developed a textbook 
and also they will be uh, having experience of to see on the body of who uh, may be using the experimental tool who may be used by medical students. Mm -hmm. That kind of understood understanding may be very helpful not only for teachers, also teacher can teach the children, but is a health by his body uh, like that. So, but in, now we're thinking about going to the medical doctor here is that uh, like uh, very uh, specialized uh, children may not allow to go into a teacher at the school, may not allow to study in the medical school at, the, at this time. But I think when you uh, open up the gate to explain what you're doing, maybe very applicable to uh, understanding more community-based uh, what this uh, wonderful project is. Thank you. Yeah. Can I ask one more question? OK, Aruna okay. and then Raphael. Go yeah. ahead, Aruna. Can there be, uh, in Japan, mm -hmm. Buddhism? Buddhism, uh, yeah. Buddhism, when it becomes very popular, mm -hmm. I don't think uh, the students will commit suicide. Because Buddhism will uh, teach them yes. how to uh, live properly. Uh, that is what Buddha has taught. Uh -huh. So if they know Buddhism, I don't think they will uh, so, commit suicide. Uh, as far as I can understand, uh, this novel, this story uh, has not has included any no religions, as Buddhism, Shinto. Like Confucianism, Christianity, no religion at all, just health. Yeah. So it is not being. Uh, so no mention about talk. religion or the faith other than faith to health or live longer. That's it. So, so m maybe there should be some kind of religious, you know, thinking so that, uh, you know, uh, people would stop suicide or harming themselves. Uh, so no religion in this book. Because in school and in colleges always it is being taught plus uh, the, uh, uh, the public uh, people also mm. they consider and they honor yeah. religion. In, in this and actual world... They talk about the religion. Mm -hmm. In this actual world um, some people are very active about uh, religious faith others mm -hmm. and not. So it's different from the, the stories in this book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Raphael. I just want to say that the, the symbol of our relation to, to technology, relation to some, some of us as much, is, you know, the, the sticker they use to make selfies. You know, this, uh, because yeah. I, I, I just want to make I said to him, I said, my arm is not long enough, so what can I do? Can I please, please, then I can you? No, no, it is not going to be, because it, it involves a, a relationship with another human being. I buy a stick a kilometer long because I want to be all by myself. This is, this is technology, in my opinion, today. Technology creates false needs. Okay, if, uh, if you have a smartphone, you can uh, uh, know immediately the weather in Brazil. Who cares about the weather in Brazil? It's nothing. Oh, my, no my, my daughter's in Brazil. Sorry, I care. Another <laughs> my dad, what, what, uh, you, you can uh, uh, see what has just said uh, President Trump. Uh, so, so what? I can read tomorrow in the newspaper. What changes in my life? Nothing. It is a drug. In my opinion, technology is a drug. And I have a son who is uh, 13, uh, it will be 13 years old uh, in uh, a few days. I will give him a, a smartphone. I resisted for 13 years. So I give him a, some friend of mine said, why, well, why don't you give the smartphone to your son when he was 10 years old? 10 years old, a smartphone. Uh, because he know how to use it. Yes, he know how to drive a car so I can leave him drive a car. What, what's, the, what, what's the argument? He know how to use Yes, he know how to use an atomic bomb, maybe. He know how to use an atomic bomb. So he know how to go on the pornographic sites on the web. So the argument is simple. You know how to do this, then do this. This is terrible. It's totally unhuman. And so I, 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 I ask for a 
a, a critical theory of technology, not, not to refuse it, not a, a, a loudest uh, position, but a critical attitude toward technology, because it's very dangerous. Other comments? I, I think it's a, even the concept of taking a selfie itself is a bit strange. Um, but it's a, yeah, the utopian vision is interesting. Um, <coughs> but should we as a society have a goal of a utopia, of a world that's better than us? Isn't that the role of the sustainable development goals, for example, SDGs? Isn't it the goal of medical ethicists to make a better healthcare system? Isn't it the goal of bioethics education to educate people to make better choices? Cool. Is, it, is it our goal? Yes? Isn't it what you're trying to do to make a better, better world? Mm, well, it's a very difficult question. Um, when I, I was young, um, I had a very you know, definite goal and uh, determination to make this world better, yeah. <laughs> change the Japanese healthcare system, and make a Japanese doctor much better than um, now. But um, I, I'm, I'm not sure at this moment how can we do that. So, honestly speaking, um, I'm now, um, I, I will be um, 57 next month. And um, I, sorry, but I, I feel that I, 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 I lost some of my energies <laughs> to, to pass the that great goal, but I believe that all we have to do is, you know, um, performing medical ethics um, in the medical communities. And I, I'm not sure what is the, you know, goal or what should be a goal. What is the best? What is the good? Uh, sometimes, so I I also have to think about what is what the good is. What is good? for us. So it's an endless um, activity for me. Mm. Can I answer your question? Maybe. Okay. Hmm. Daryl, could I respond to your question yeah. too? Because I think there's a difference between utopian thinking and ethical idealism. Let me give a concrete example. Right? In the United States, at the, every day, school children, they pledge allegiance to the flag, and it ends with the words, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Okay? And some kids in the United States, they say, with liberty and justice for rich people. <laughs> with liberty and justice for white people. White people. <laughs> and, you know, so they're cynical, and they say, you know, like, you know, we have this idea of liberty and justice for all, and, you know, that's, you know, that's ridiculous because it's just, it's utopia. But the thing is, you know, that's ethical idealism. You know, in reality, we do not have liberty and justice for all, but we have an ethical ideal, liberty and justice for all, and that gives us a direction to aim for. And without that ideal, you just say, yeah, well, this is the way things are, just accept reality. Um, you know, that's realism. But that doesn't get us anywhere. So I, I mean, my own opinion is I think we need ethical ideals. Mm -hmm. But that's different from this kind of utopianism, right? Because mm -hmm. this kind of utopianism is like looking for perfection that's controlled from the outside, you know? And, and another person that comes to mind is um, Anthony Giddens. He, he, he used the word um, utopian realism, which is in society we do have this idea that, you know, don't, don't we agree that we should have a society that's more healthy than we have now? Yeah, we do agree with that. And that gives us, you know, a, a, something to go for. But we have to be realistic about how we go about achieving that, what the limitations are. Um, we have to think about issues about whether this infringes on people's autonomy and you know, all these other things. So we take a realistic approach to it, even though we, we remain committed to the idea that we want to do something better. But we don't have to get into this kind of idea that we're going to have a perfect world that's totally Have you know the meaning of utopia? Pardon? The meaning of utopia, you know that? I think so. What is it? Oh, 
It means no place. No place. No place. No place. Ah. Also good place. Also good. You can read also good place. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you buy a stern, all right? Thomas More. Yes. That's Thomas More. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Daniel. Following again <laughs> the words, let me let exemplify the value of hypocrisy. Because hypocrisy, yeah, is justice and liberty for all. Cynicism points to the hypocrisy, which points to the value. This idea value that we're talking about. So hypocrisy is a way to ident identify the true idea. They are agreed upon even <coughs> by those who violate them. Mm. There's a comment on, the, on our Skype friends, uh, Sukran and Turkey said that maybe we're closer to dystopia <laughs> than utopia. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I feel that this novel is dystopian mm -hmm. in, in a lot of ways. I mean, you know, Huxley's novels were dystopian. They showed, you know, like, like if we try to create an ideal society, what problems come up? And this might be in the same, same genre. And uh, Manuel from Spain said, we've got four out of a ten in the list in Spain right now. Mm -hmm. uh, our reality already. <coughs> yeah. So, and he's, yeah, so... Uh, I think that was sort of a point from our, our, our PhD students here that they are thinking it's dystopian. Mm. Mm. But it's interesting. Uh, any other comments, anyone? Yes, Maria? Um, I wonder because my, um, my um, mother language is Japanese, so that's why I'm wondering, as I said, I want to say, not perfect utopia or something like that. Maybe a certain say the um he he, 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 he wanted to say in this presentation, maybe if I made a mistake, I'm sorry. So maybe a says you want to close to now better medical than now. Be better, better medical care. Yeah. Better yeah. medical care like now. Mm -hmm. What's even uh, one centimeter closer <coughs> to better, or it's a um, little bit close to now utopia, or perfect health? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I cannot understand what so, you say. So, for, for example, my, my, my much more uh, exact um, example. He, he, so she's saying you still would like to have progress step by step towards a better healthcare system. You haven't given up on that, have you? I, I am not sure at this point, you know. <laughs> really? So I'm a medical doctor, I'm um, practicing every, you know, every two days a week, and um, yeah, I appreciate the you know, progress of medical science, but I'm not sure how, you know, you know, here I'm um, um, doing much work about uh, research med medical ethics committees, research ethics committees, and um, too, too, too much medical research is here in this top universities. And um, uh, the you know, research um, supremacy principle is very predominant mm -hmm. here. So, you know, medical progress is good, but um, we may have, so there are some other things which we should uh, prioritize before that, um, instead of, you know, making medical science progress, um, but we should do more about something like uh, public health, or um, I'm not sure, but there are many people who cannot have um, adequate medical care now in Japan, uh, poor people. So I, I feel very ambivalent to that, you know, go ahead, you know, <laughs> make um, a progress of medical science. Uh, we should do some other things. 
as well, and uh, we have to allocate our energy to other parts of the activities. So yeah, and, um, I think that medical care today is not perfect at all, but, um, but um, we, we, we should not um, focus on just developing medical science. Yeah. Well, if we are developing health care, uh -huh. rather than a reductionist medical science, it's mm -hmm. what you'd like to promote. Yeah, public ah, health. Yes, yeah, so, so, see, even unfortunately, with your, you've been driven by being immersed in this modern research hub, mm -hmm. that health science means reductionist health science. Yeah, and, that's, so. and then your daily work is just... Bureaucra bureaucratic research ethics committees <laughs> and things like that for yeah. somebody to do to publish a paper in the journal rather than clinically help somebody's life. Yeah. yeah? Yes, yeah. So that's not, that's the problem of the reductionism, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that was coming back, it relates to the previous question about, in the question Raphael made, well, should we measure humanness by if you can plant a flower or milk a cow? rather than drive a car or whether you can, you know, receive some advanced medical treatment. But if you looked on the elevator in the building, look at all the department names in this building. Mm -hmm. It's very reductionist, yeah? Oh, yeah. And as a, as a molecular biologist, uh, I can say that, uh, <laughs> but it's interesting. Can, can I talk about yeah? one small example? And one of my mentors, he's a psychiatrist, he always said to um, um, an examination finished and, and his patient read it and it's finished and hence he says goodbye to his parents, yeah, patient. He always says, if something happens, call to me anytime. Mm -hmm. So anytime to call him in the midnight or weekday, weekend. So I asked him, why you say so? My patient never called me. If I say so, she never called me. So I wonder, I tried to research on a psychological way, like her, because his word, doctor's word, not his word, doctor is special. Doctor's word to give a patient um, removing anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I can feel sick anytime. Anytime my doctor help me. It's also big medicine <coughs> or big medical care to a to a progressive to a European patient. The practical small uh, well, uh, In my personal opinion, I um, doctor should not tell such a thing because it is not possible. Mm. Yeah, so Dr. Onkor should um, deal with such an emergent yes, situation. Exactly. So no patient call him. Hmm. <coughs> no, no patient <laughs> would call him. No, no patient. Because he gives them relief. Well, maybe, but I think it depends on the you know yeah, uh, patient, yeah. So very anxious or unstable psychologically unstable patient might call <laughs> with the doctor <laughs> in the midnight. Yeah. And actually, th there are some patients who frequently uh, visit emergency office every night or uh, several times a week, so yeah. it depends on the patient. Mm. Mm. But it's also one, one way to close to it. So, sorry, uh, but I, I can understand that one way, that bit expressed, mm. so I, I cannot understand that. Please so tell me in the later in Japanese. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. So, wonderful presentation.